Please meet Crystal. She says she's here to settle the score. Crystal, what's going on? Well, Jerry, I'm here today because my husband is a drunk and he's been acting like a dumbass. Why'd you marry him? <laughs> he wasn't that stupid when I married him. <laughs> <laughs> so marriage made him stupid, huh? I guess so. Yeah. Well, a few months ago, uh, he came home and it wasn't even noon yet and he was yeah. falling down stupid drunk. Yeah. And he had a half gallon of whiskey and I, I have a little <laughs> tiny baby and I told him that he had to go, that there is just no need for that. Yeah. And when he left, I wanted to see where he was going, so I followed him. Yeah. And he went straight to the town whore's house. I jumped out of my car. The town I, whore, is that, it's like, like a title? She gets the title? Yes. Everybody knows. Everybody knows one. who she is and where yes. she is? Absolutely. And, 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 and what town is this? <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> No, because I travel sometimes, but anyway. So. so when I got there, I naturally jumped out of my car, ran in there, started wanting to whoop her ass, but yeah. she t as soon as I come at her, she said, oh, I'm pregnant. So I backed up, but they had already called the cops, and I went to jail. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So, so, but now, where's your husband now? Is he back with you? Yes. Yes. I oh, so he is back with you? Yes. Well, I took him back. then what's the problem anymore? Well, well, first she, of all, why did you take him back? Well, I took him back because we have a child together. Yeah. And she, they were staying together for a while, like yeah. over a month. They stayed together in a tent they over by the river because they didn't have nowhere to go. <laughs> they were running scared, hiding from me. So your husband l got drunk, left you for this other woman, and they live in a tent by the river. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. But he came back, I guess. He, he can't swim or what? <laughs> Mosquitoes? Yeah, so he's back. Yes, he wiggled his way in, saying he wanted to see the baby, and I let him come around, and I really do love him, yeah. so I wanted to give him another chance. Now, is this other woman still in the picture, or is she back in her tent by the river? She's back in her tent, as far as I know. She's been hiding from me. I've been trying to find her and get my hands on her. And she's just been running scared. Yeah. Okay, but your argument really is with your husband, right? Because he's the one that is committed to you, not her. That's true. That's uh -huh. true. I just really want to get my hands on her. Is she pregnant? You said she's pregnant? She lied. She oh, just she didn't lied. want me to whip her ass that day. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll have to remember that. If someone's coming after me, I'll say, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Don't hit me. It doesn't work with me. All right. So, oh, who is this? Uh, Ashley is her name? Ashley is her name. Well, let's meet Ashley. <laughs> you stupid bitch! Your man called me last week when he was drunk and came over to my house. Your oh, tent. Not yeah. to my tent, to my house. Oh, yeah, right. You know you're still okay. living in that tent. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're not you're gonna stupid. Get, I don't you're want not getting in between my family. I love my husband. I and have he nothing loves to me. do with that. He's the one that calls me. He's the one that calls me and comes around me. I have nothing to do with you or your family. You're coming in between my family. My family is first. I love him. You are not. You will not. You want to come between us? Let's go now. What? Let's go. <laughs> So, why, if you know, yeah, if you know that he's married to her, why wouldn't, why wouldn't you have just said, why wouldn't you have just said, hey, uh, stay away from me? He looks like a little kid. I didn't know he had a wife and a kid. Oh, he never told you? No. 
Well, then, if he never told her, why are you angry at her? How could she know? She didn't come to my house. She didn't. She came to your tent. I she got my tent. Oh. I'm not playing games with you. This is serious. I have a little baby that we take care of, then we are gonna be a family. You need to talk you to your husband your about that thing. You need to keep your little slut ass back in your tent by the river where you belong. You need to shut the hell up because I don't want your husband. He wants me. Oh, wait. Keep your hands off my husband. <laughs> Let's meet Jake. You ain't nothing but a chalk. You know I like to drink. We have fun. We step by the river in our tent. We watch the stars. You don't get drunk past that Ain't nothing that more important than our child. And our family, I thought that's what you wanted in life. You got too many rules for me. I can't live by too all these rules. Too many rules? Oh, my God. If you want to be with us, Jake, I mean it. You've got to straighten up. I'm tired of this low life, skank slut, sleeping around, going to the river, thinking life is just a freaking party. Because it's not. It's real. Well, maybe we had a Tell lot of fun. Tell her what you told me. Tell her what you told me. How much you had fun with me. How you we hate being around her. Okay, let's see. What, what do you... We had lots of fun, Jerry. We got drunk. We passed out by the water. So far, this... <laughs> I mean, and... I tell you. And I want to be with her. I tell you, you know how to have fun. And I, I want to be with Ashley. You want to do what? I want to be with Ashley. We have all this fun, and you just want me to stay at the house and be stuck in the house, and I can't do that. Have you been messing with her since that night? Yeah. You been... Put yourself. You ain't nothing but a low life. You ain't never going to amount to nothing. I love her. We have all kinds of fun. Go get you some. Ashley. You better leave me alone. Don't you want to be with me, Ashley? Well, wait, you continue to be angry at her, and I understand you're upset, but he, he she's telling the truth. Apparently, he is the one that keeps saying he wants to be with her. Your argument is with him, not with her. Then I want a divorce. It is over. It is over. I do not want to be with you. I love you, Jake. You're the love of my life. But if you don't want to straighten up and be the father of our child, the man, the example, everything she looks up to. I can't be all this stuff. I, I mean, you got all these rules for okay. me, and I can't. Well, OK, let's start well for the little stuff at a time. What can you married her because you loved her, right? Yes, Jay, we had a kid together. And, uh, you know, when I got together, when was we got fun? together, yeah. See? We had lots of fun making a baby. When we got together, she was drinking and we was going to, like, Memphis and stuff. And, you know, it just, it just went downhill after we got married. We, we don't have no fun no more. We just sat around the house. And I'm, I'm too young for that, you know? I got to get out and do things. And that was Ashley. And, fun is raising a child and watching her smile and grow and laugh and say I love you. That's what real life is. It's not kicking it by a stupid river in a tent with a whore. I'm not a whore. Your man wants me. So do you want to be with me or what? We'll go back to our tent. take care of your wife and your you kids. Do you want to be with me? Yeah, I like our little tent by the river. Don't you? Yeah, I guess. But you have a kid to take care of. You can't just stay and buy a tent at the river. I love my kid, but, you know, I mean, my wife don't want to stay in no tent with me. And we, she don't like getting drunk. <laughs> don't you like getting drunk and just passing out by the river and talking yeah. about stuff? Yeah. Are you listening to yourself? <laughs> yeah, Jerry. <laughs> like, Can't, I just can't stay up in, in the house all the time, Jerry. It just ain't my thing, you know. I, I love well, my wife. Well, why weren't you thinking about that before you had a baby with her? Well, or why Jerry, did you ask her to marry you then? Because we were drunk and, uh, and we was having lots of were fun. Were you drunk when you got married? 
No, we wasn't drunk then. Okay. Well, that's a good sign. And, uh, I mean, she, first she always wanted to get drunk, and then she didn't want to drink no more, and I like to drink. And I like to continue to drink, and I'm not going to change just because, you know, she wants me you to. You won't even change because you have a kid? Uh, I mean, I would for the kid, but I can't do it just because she wants me to, you know? But you have a kid now. Yeah. So is any part of you want to be responsible and say, you know, it's time for me to grow up, I got to have a child, I have to be a good father? Do you yeah. ever think of that, or is that just foreign? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a good father and stuff, but I mean, I don't have, I don't have to be at home to be a good father. <laughs> I mean, my, my baby will love me because I'm her daddy. This is what you're Jerry, saying. I told you he was a dumbass. <laughs> Why'd you marry him? I swear he wasn't that stupid when we got married. Something happened to him. You know, everybody changes when you get married, and he just changed into a dumbass. You got too many rules and regulations for me to abide just, by. It's supposed to be a partnership, not I'm no... just trying to make a good life for my child. And if you don't want to be a part of it, then fine. Go stay in the tent with your little whore. But I want you really, to know... you can stay with her. I don't want you. I want you to know that I love you, and I loved you when I married you, and I loved you when I took you back, and I still love you today. And when you're ready to be a man, I'll be there. Aww. You shouldn't have all these rules and regulations on me. It's only for the well-being of our child. I want her to grow up in a good home. Yeah. Not those trashy, skanky home. Well, wait I'm not a trashy, skanky that your she's husband your, wants. In fairness, she's on your side now. She doesn't want to be with him. She's saying she if should go back to her. he can't take care of a kid her. and he can't be a man. She's not arguing with you. Jerry, yeah, I am a man. I, I got to work and stuff, and I, I buy stuff for my baby, and my baby loves me. We spend good quality time together. But I can't, I can't, I can't be with her. I mean, I can't abide by all them rules and regulations. And what is a particular rule? What is one of the rules that really gets under your skin? Well, I have to stay at home all the time, and you know, I got, I want to run around with my buddies, and and she always wants me clean, and you know, she's the wife. She's supposed to clean. Oh. oh. Okay. If you could just, no, this is good. If you could just explain to the uh, women out there why it's their job to clean. They'd like to know. Because men, we go to work and we support y'all. Y'all are supposed to stay home, take care of the kids, clean. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Is there some woman in the audience that would like to respond to his... Uh, yeah, one second. Stand over here. Yeah, if you would come, come with me. No, this is good. You know, no one's going to hit you. No, this is good. You come up here. Now you stand there. And you stand there. Now he thinks that someone of your gender ought to be doing the cleaning. What, what, and you both have a balloon, so this is fair. Uh, what, what do you want to say to him? from 6.30 to 2.30 every day, and I pay my bills by myself, and you don't look like you do anything. You need to take care of that baby and quit sleeping with that whore. You can't hit me. Yes, now you can go and sit back down. And I, there you go. Okay, uh, but clean the floor first, okay? No, I'm just, it's a joke. I'm on your side. I'm on your side. Oh, turn on me. Wait a second. I used to be a lesbian. What she drank? All right. Well, what you. And as a lesbian, I will be spending the night with a woman. That's what a lesbian does. No. And then take sleepy time. And then take sleepy time. And then take sleepy time. Oh, you. Okay. All right. Well, in seriousness, the young lady who was up here had an awfully good point. Where do you get off saying that it's the woman's job to clean? I believe a man should do all the work. And a woman should What stay. work are you doing? Jerry, I fix 18-wheeler tarps for a living. So you make tarps for 18-wheelers? Yes, sir. 
Yeah. Did you did you use any of those tarps to make a tent? No, I bought the tent. No, you didn't. Okay, I'm just checking. You don't. Now you've seen that how bright he is. Uh, is this someone you want to be with? No, not if you can't take care of a kid. And didn't tell me about it. If he was a man, he would tell me about it. He didn't tell me about it. Well, you didn't ask. I gotta ask you. <laughs> I mean, most people ask, you know, if you're married or have a kid, but not you. You look like a little kid. You know, it, it, it were just easy, you know? You wanted to sleep in my tent and everything. Your tent? Wait a second, whose tent is it? It was my uncle's tent. I borrowed it from him. You borrowed your uncle? <laughs> but Terry, it's a good tent. Why would you go and sleep with him in a tent? Because I could bring him to my house. Why can't you bring him to your house? Because I couldn't, because... Because I just couldn't bring him to my house. Oh, because, oh, okay, something's going on in your house. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what are you gonna do, you gonna take him back? He don't want me. He don't want to be the man what? of our house. He that doesn't want to be my husband. He doesn't want to be the father that I want him to be. I do. I just don't want to live by all these rules. I want to come home. I want to get drunk. I want to come home to a clean house with my meals cooked for me. And I want you to take oh my off my boots and so I can just sit and enjoy the rest of my evening because I work hard. I'm willing to do all that if you're willing to be the father to my child and leave these stupid whores alone. Quit running the streets and be a father because I love you, Jake. I love you so much. Oh. I wouldn't have brought you here. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been chasing her down all the time. I wouldn't go time. through all of this if I didn't love you. I, I believe in my heart that you have the potential to be a good man if you would just let all the bull go. Then why do you bitch so much? Because you just can't get right. Well, I don't want to hear all that. I don't tell you, you need to get right. I got mine together. I know what I'm doing. Oh, whatever. Then you should have the house cleaned every day when I come home. I don't want to have to bring her back out here. Okay. Please don't, Jerry. Yeah. She's hard on me. All right. Uh, what are you doing with that balloon? Okay. I think I'm going to take it home with me. And, and do you get your meals cooked for you and stuff when you come home after you work a hard day? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I go out to eat. When it comes to food, I make reservations. Uh, so you don't want to, no one wants to be with him anymore. So you're out on your own. You're, if you're not going back to your wife, she's not taking you back. I guess I'll go back to my wife, Jerry, if she'll take me back. You'll be back.